I started hearing voices. Constant, constant, repetitive talk. And I turn, there's nobody there. My dad uh, is a Jew, but he is uh, an atheist. Back in Russia, it, there was a statement like religion is the opium for masses. Any topic of religion was not welcome in our home. I was working in construction and design firms, and it was just like job and sleep, job and sleep. It started weighing me down. And then I just turned to alcohol. After work, I came home and just like was looking for the bottom of that bottle. And every bottle that I finished, I was sinking deeper and deeper. It opened a fountain of darkness. Bigger, deeper, darker. Uh, I didn't see any, any solution for my problem. I just quit my job and I started drinking for a whole week without stopping. I still remember that darkness, that emptiness. And it was the bottom of my bottom. How did I get here? And how can I get out? On my kitchen table, I saw a chicken soup and a rose. And I knew that was my sister that came by. She probably wanted to talk to me. But I was asleep, drunk, deaf, and I just broke down, broke down crying. And I decided to stop drinking. I started hearing voices after I stopped drinking. It was just like constant, constant, constant. They couldn't leave me alone. They were talking about killing. Uh, they were talking about like they're going to put my family in danger. I was afraid that I was turning crazy. I made a decision and went with my sister to this group. When I met with a person, she shared her story, I shared my story. And she asked me if I would want to say a prayer. And I agreed. From the moment when I said the name, Yeshua, and I confessed my sins, all the voices disappeared. All the weight that I've been carrying in my heart and in my soul just lifted away. From that point on, I knew that there is hope, and it's a start of the healing process that I was trying to cover up all my previous life. Before Yeshua, I was very sad, depressed, drowning in my sorrows and pains. After Yeshua, he opened my heart to let people in to share with people this life, to participate in this life actively because that's yours. You have to live it, not just sit back in the director's chair and just see it walking by. For me, Yeshua is everything. He's the miracle worker because I see miracles in my life every day. People ask me, are you happy? I say, yes, because I am.